Welcome to more Glug Glug with Glug Glug. What's up, everybody? Doing a little mini marathon, so I thought I'd start another Glug Glug with Lug Lug video. And, uh, well, this is the first uh, beer of the day. We have my uh, Batman Joker glass here with a bunch of ha-ha-has. This one is made by Hot Killers. I think after this I'm going to go ahead and show off my 8-bit uh, glassware collection. It's by a, a guy that goes by the name of Mike Bartone and uh, he does all these cool-ass 8-bit glasses. So I think I'm going to show off uh, the 14 or 15 of them that I have. And that will be what's comprised of this episode. But here, first, is the Batman Joker Hop Killers and some vulgar display of flour. You can see I'm uh, I'm up here recording some Gabriel Knight for you sexy hordlings. Got it in a nice little 19 by 20 video. And then over here on this screen, I got my uh, achievements so that I can get all the achievements for you guys. So far, I'm... It's not too hard of a game, so haven't really needed to use any any guides or anything. Over here we have some miniatures, my wallet, my phone, some of my paints. Oh, but back to the beer. Welcome, folks, to another episode of Glug Glug with Glug Glug. Hello, everybody! All right. This is going to be a very special episode. I'm going to be showing off my 8-bit uh, glassware collection. V very, very prestigious, limited glassware that pretty much nobody can get. Uh, all the glasses are super limited. You can see here... This is uh, number 66 out of 72, so only 72 of this exact glass was made. However, I'm going to be starting off with the Avengers glass because this is the very first design that was done by 8-bit. And as you can see, it's got all the awesome little pixelated dudes and the glove. This is a special edition that was for club members. It's got the gold rim. But yeah, it's a legit fucking glass, folks. Our first beer of the day is going to be Lady Bugman, courtesy of Cat Blaster. He sent me this from New York. The uh, entirety of the last Glug Glug with Lug Lug was K uh, Kings County Brewers Collective. So I figured it'd be nice to start off with a few of those. don't want to break this glass. This gra glass sells for about $300 uh, easy. So yeah, I'm drinking out of a $300 glass right now. I just cleaned the shit out of it, although I can... <laughs> you know, it's funny is it's really hard to get your fingers down there. So it's really hard to get those little residue bubbles off. Lady Bugman is a fruited sour. Uh, apparently the focus wasn't coming in great last time, so I'm going to leave it zoomed out. But it's a sour ale, strawberry, watermelon, and lemon zest. Canned on July 30th, 2020. And we got the uh, very cool artwork there. Some ninjas. And uh, lesbian men. Let's check it out. Mm, it's pretty good. Very, um, very obvious strawberry notes. It's actually really good. The strawberry has got a nice residual hang. Hangs out on the palate for a while. Good old hot guy there. You got some Thor. You got some iron, little Iron Man. Doctor Strange and Spidey and the Hulk, Captain America. So yeah, this is a good one. I'd probably say a solid three seven five out of five on Untapped. It's Lady Bugman, folks. 
clocking in with a whopping 5.2 ABV. We'll see you soon with some more 8-bit glassware and some more beer soon to come. Welcome back to the next beer. Beer number two, glass number two in the 8-bit glassware series. Proud to present to you one of my favorite glasses. This is the glass that actually got me into the game. Once I saw this motherfucker, I was donezo. Now, we all know the Game of Thrones seasons didn't end that well, and we're still waiting on GRRM to finish the fucking books. But, we gotta admit, it's an amazing story. And this is an amazing glass. Now, you're gonna notice, what is this? All these little, like, little bud-looking things. These are hops. One of the big things about uh, beer glassware is incorporating the hop. So you're going to notice that there is a hop and basically everyone's photo or pixel photo, I should say. Tyrion here has a little orange hop. We have Jon Snow, the White Walker with the blue hop necklace. We have the Mountain, who is palming a hop. We have Cersei and uh, her lover and brother, Jaime. We have a girl with no name, Arya Stark, who I have met in real life. We have the Targaryen Dothraki queen, Daenerys, little Tyrion, and yeah, do not have the Hound and do not have Khal Drogo, who, I'm all, who I've also met in real life at a Comic Con. But yeah, this uh, this is the first glass I played. I think I paid seventy dollars for this because I missed the drop. And uh, unlike the first card you saw, I have number fifty three. There's one hundred and forty four of these glasses made. However, uh, Mike, the owner of Eight Big Glassware, decided to do some nucleated glasses. So there are more prints out there. However, they are on a different glass. Uh, this is what we call the OG. And I don't give a fuck about remakes. To me, they're bullshit. All I care about is the fucking OG. Here's the beer. Too Fast, Too Furious. Another can, courtesy of my brother, Cat Blaster, who sent me a can of cats. This is an interesting IPA. It's a West Coast, so you're not getting, you're not gonna get that obscurity. Uh, you can actually kind of see through this glass. You can't on the camera, but I can. And we got some pussy cats on the can here. Ooh, that motherfucker looks pissed. We got a little mousy mouse. And we got fat Bubba cat. West Coast style, eight percent mosaic Simcoe Amarillo Centennial and Columbus hops. Canned on eight three. Pretty 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 fresh. Let's fuck it up. Let's see what we got here. Mm. West Coast for sure. West Coast basically means you're going to have that classic style IPA taste, not this new milkshake, lactose, fructose, fruited sour IPA bullshit. It's just good old fucking IPA. What it used to taste like before all the, uh, the pansies took over. And uh, I'm kind of glad they did because I love the pansy IPAs, but... Anyways, one of my favorite glasses. This is one that I would never, ever sell. Ever, ever, never, ever. If I had to keep 10, 20 glasses, this would be in that collection. And uh, another great label from KCBC. All right, see you next time for beer number three. All right, folks, here we are for beer number three. Glass number three in the 8-bit collection. Proud to present to you Hop Combat, the third glass in the series. I have number 52, 144 made. Again, there was a nucleated version. Nucleated just basically means that there's a, uh, a cut put into the base of the glass that helps the nucleation and the, uh, the carbon dioxidation of the, the beer. Corn of darky darky. So we're uh, switching gears here to a Martin House. This is a Texas brewery. 
This Cookie Monster. The Barrel Age 12 Percenter. This is canned on May 6th of 2020. Peppermint, chocolate, vanilla, brown sugar, lactose. It's already aged three to five months in whiskey barrels with cacao nibs. This is our 20 version Cookie Cookie Monster. Pretty badass can. And I've already had this, so I know it's delectable. But as far as our uh, Mortal Kombat glass here, we got the Scorpion Sub Zero, Johnny Cage, Kano, Liu Kang. Well, Liu Kang there, Johnny Cage there. I actually don't know all the characters here. Uh, Katana and Sophia. Well, I know Raiden. And uh, the forearm guy. I forget his name. Goro or some shit. But yeah. This is a, a Tiku style glass. Most people don't like these because of the stem. It's pretty thin. It's not too hard to break this. But if you take good care of it, it'll serve you well. This beer is phenomenal. It's easily a, a four two four five out of five. Thin mint. I mean, if you're into mint or thin mint cookies, this is gonna blow the tip of your dick off. We'll see you soon with beer number four. We interrupt this program with a special non eight bit glass. Drinking some pumpkin spice from Yeti. It's an imperial stout. Love everything that comes from Great Divide. Very good brewery. People have mixed opinions about their pumpkin stouts, but uh, this is made from their friend's Pablo's Coffee, so you know it's good. Very special glass here. It's a fuck your pumpkin glass from 17% uh, drip. Fuck your pumpkin beer. And it's basically a uh, hop monster beating the fuck out of a pumpkin. This is one of my favorite glasses. And if I ever have a pumpkin beer, it goes exclusively in this glass. It's, it's fucking delicious. It basically tastes like chocolate pumpkin pie. And it is goddamn good. Welcome back, Corlean's. To more glug glug with lug lug. It's no longer an eight bit glass situation. It's a whatever the fuck I pull out of the fridge situation. And uh, we got some tiki talk. Fruited sour. Seven percent mandarin orange, pineapple, passion fruit, lime. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a very special glass of mine. It's a uh, ingenious. Top killer crossbred glass. You're gonna go tiki, you gotta go tiki. Let's try it. Yep. Tastes like fucking Hawaii. Light tartness. Um, not heavy on the pineapple. Passion fruit's definitely there. Definitely some lime and orange. But very, very faint pineapple. Three, seven, four out of five. I'll take it. Welcome back for yet another beer in the 8-bit series. This is Hot Men. This is based off all the X-Men, of course. Got Magneto, the Juggernaut, Cyclops, Gambit, Wolverine. Uh, forget his name. 
We've got the Beast, Nightcrawler, Storm Shadow, Jane. A couple of these I don't know, even know myself, actually. Beautiful glass. Number 30 of 144. I am not a huge, huge, huge comic guy. Never have been. Never been big into the superhero thing. But the Avenger movies and a lot of the Marvel shit that came out lately kind of got me into it. This glass was in dire need of cleaning, as you can see. We're uh, smashing some sand castles from Revision Brewing. It's a northeastern hazy Indian pale ale, only clocking in at 6%. It says it's the biggest, baddest, smoothest hop monster you've never saw. This beer brings the thunder with hops exclusively from down under. Intermingling notes of passion fruit, pineapple, lime, and pine from Waumea, Motiuka, and Vic Secret, and Galaxy Hops. Interesting. About to go uh, rip it up with my Australian friend, Mad Puppet, so maybe he knows something about this. Hops exclusively, exclusively from Down Under. I don't know. Let's try the beer. Oh yeah, that's delicious. That is pretty delicious. Easy 375 on the beer. Got our X-Men glass. Whoops! A little bit for the homies. Gotta have a little bit for the homies. And smashing sandcastles. See you soon. All right, folks, we've got another surprise interjection video here on the Glug Glug with Lug Lug episode. Game Hoarder has just hit a very special number that I've been uh, looking forward to and not looking forward to. But you can see I'm at 6665. And by the way, if you want to join Untapped, Name's Ron Stock. Got the Avatar Guardian face there. 6665. Also find me at Beer Hoarder 78. This is a super special beer that I had to get a hold of. It took some effort to get obtain this. It's in the Martin House series. It's called Charon. The ferryman that takes you across the river sticks. Very cool uh, box artwork. And uh, I collect these Martin House boxes. I might do a video at some later point, but you can see I have I have a few rows of them. I have like 20, 20 some odd boxes. Say hello to the beer fridge. Yeah, got some goodies stacked up there. Look at all that slushies. Stacks of slushies. Yummy, yummy. Cool artwork. Anyways, back to the show. Okay, this is it. 6,666 beers, baby. It's even got my name right there. Let's do it. This is a 16% barrel-aged stout. Um, it's already like 2 in the morning. But, say la vie. When in Rome. And, uh, every day is Rome. 16% stout. Oh my god, that is thick as fucking balls. Got the Grim Reaper Hop Killer Glass from the OGs. Doesn't get much better than that.
All right, man. Here's the 6,666 unique beers. Oh, my God. That is fucking retardedly delicious. There he is. The river. The river sticks. Boatman. Clocking in. 16er. Brewed back in uh, December 2019. Not that long ago. It's been aged. It's already aged uh, three to five months in brandy. And then this one was aged an additional, you know, eight, nine months. So, good stuff. Easy, uh, easy five. It's a booze bomb. It's decadent. The the Imperial Age brandy comes through. Oh man, it's it's fucking ridiculously good. All right, welcome back for another beer in the eight bit glassware glug lug with lug lug episode. Proud to present to you number 104 of 144, Spider Hop. We got Dr. Octopus, the Green Goblin, whoever the fuck that guy is, all the different Spider Men. Pretty cool glass. Love that pixelated look. And to go with it, we have some RAR. It's just a good old hazy IPA from the Brewing Project. 7.3%. Mosaic, Sabro, and Simcoe hops. Oh, yeah. Get my little card out the way there. Try it out. Mm. It's good. Juicy, juicy. Easy four on untapped for sure. All right, battery's getting loaded, folks. I got to go charge this bad boy up so we can keep it moving. We'll see you soon with the next beer. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Back with the small. Glug, glug with lug, lug. Moving on up the 8 bit glassware ladder this is super slam or summer slam sorry 98 200 98 of 200 200 of these were made this is a uh, obviously a wrestling tribute I'm not a big wrestler guy but I did see Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant and Ultimate Warrior live so it is pretty cool having all the different characters here you guys may recognize a lot more of these you got Hulk and uh, Macho Man I actually dated uh, Macho Man's uh, niece yeah in seventh grade I dated the Macho Man's niece her name was Chastity you can look it up 100% legit fact I dated the Macho Man's niece Chastity Charity it was one of those two so one of my first kids, seventh grade, Maddox High School, junior high, whatever. All facts, all facts. This is bubbly. So what we have here is a Great Notion beer. This isn't anything special, but it is a uh, Indian Pale Ale from Great Notion, which is always fun. It's called Male Owl. Owl you need is beer. Uh, canned on six twenty nine. So, uh, July, August, September, pretty fresh, 6.7, and brewed in collaboration with Fort George Brewery. So, yeah. So, give me an 
nice and fucked up. Just got done playing a uh, nice long game of Mansions of Madness Second Edition, and uh, ended up losing. That's always fun. Yeah, let's try it out. Mm, very standard. Very standard. That is a good uh, sipper on the beacher, on the river, but it's going to be about a 3.5 on untapped. Super standard. That's Descartes for what the fuck? folks welcome back to more eight bit glassware and beer drinking with the game hoarder and lug lug gonna be using my pickle rick glass known as hopple rick and mr hop seeks just got some meek seeks back here simple glass but also eight bit amazing started getting i was in the club at this point so started, I got was able to pick my own number. Unfortunately, number six was taken. So I took number 66. Obviously, I can't have 666. There's only 144 glasses ever made. This is a, a beer from 450 North, one of my favorite breweries, called Emeralds and Onyx. Double Sour IPA, Gemstone Series, 6%. It's going to be delicious. I just picked it because it was green like my pickle. Whoa! We got a gusher. We got a gusher. Well, you guys are getting getting to see live what happens with a gusher. Man, foaming like a motherfucker. <sighs> Shit, I'm about to drink half the beer. This is what happens when motherfuckers overcarbonate their cans. It's starting to slow down a little now, but you can see, even this long after, the can is still shooting carbonated foam out, which is essentially the beer. This can normally goes for $10, $11, so that's pretty disappointing when it does shit like that. There's actual beer that came out. Honestly, I'm glad you guys saw that. This can's been sitting idle in my refrigerator for at least a week, and that much carbonation still exists. You can see the pickle rick here. There's the beer line. This is fucking foam. Luckily, I'm doing this in my uh, laundry room, so... That's good beer right here, though. Can't let that go to waste. Ah, yeah. Get a game order. All right. So... <laughs> to pickle rick now that things have calmed down a little bit you can see how um interesting this beer is it is delicious i'm even more upset now that i lost a little bit of it really isn't that much there's still quite a bit in this can it's a 16 ounce can so we'll get a glass full either way just gonna take a second Look at that gunk. Mm. There is real fruit in these beers, just so you know. It's all fermented with real hundreds and hundreds of pounds of 
fruit. Emeralds and onyx. Alright, now there's enough in here I can get a taste, a good taste. Mm. Yeah, it's money shot, man. Four or five, easy. Easy, 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 four or five. But you can see how volatile these cans are. And when you ship these, these motherfuckers will blow up in your mail in your mailbox, in the box they got shipped in, in the post office. People lose these beers all the time. In fact, most of the people that ship them to me do so with ice packs around the, in the bag with the beer. Uh, anyways, it's a wonderful beer, and uh, it put on a good show. Until next time. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Hordley, to another 8-bit glassware in this chapter of Gluggy Gluggy with the Luggy Luggy. This is uh, one of my favoritest of all the 8-bit glasses that we will get into here. It is called Hoppaween. And as you can see, it has all the classic horror figures. We got Michael Myers, Leatherface, Scream Guy, Jason Voorhees, Chucky, Freddy Krueger, and Frankenstein and Dracula. Yeah, we had to throw them in there. Awesome Halloween glass. We got Halloween coming up, my favorite holiday of the year. Although this year might be a little interesting. And we have number 66 of 216 Hoppaween. Not the best beer for the glass. I didn't have any horror-related cans of beer at my disposal. But breakdancing, close. This is called Break It Down by Three Sons Brewing. It is a DDH, Double Dry Hopped Imperial Indian Pale Ale, 9.5%. Oh, this will get me nice and toasty right before the... Uh, right before the wifey gets home fantastic let's dig in this is a pretty giant glass will easily handle the 16 ounces here I think it's more of a 20 ounce I'm not uh, yet good at knowing all the glass names I believe this is a willy 20 ounce willy glass I could be totally wrong um, but anyways we're not here for the fucking type of glass. We're here for the awesome graphics. I love this glass. Especially the Jason with the bloody machete. Chucky's got a little little bit of uh, blood dripping off his knife. Dracula's got some little blood coming down his chinny chin chin leather face. It's awesome. Awesome pixelated graphics on this one. Oh yeah, that's a hefty boy. When you get into these higher ABV IPAs, you're gonna sacrifice some of that that good taste, I guess, because you, you're starting to get in the realm of boozy. Um, this one actually is pretty subtle though. It's it's got a nice thick citrus uh, feel to it. Mouth feel is what they call it. It's when you swirl it around in your mouth. It's good though. I like the uh, obscurity of the haze. I do not like to be able to see through my beer. If you can see the uh, white on the wall behind your the liquid of your beer, that is uh, that's not thick enough for me. I like the thick boys, the juicy hazy dankies, and this fits the bill. Probably uh, drop a four three seven five four on the untapped or on this one this beer. And we'll see you soon with more 8-bit glassware. Alrighty, folks, we are back with yet another 8-bit glass and another beer for this episode of Glug Glug with Lug Lug. This glass is called Hop Wars. Star Wars inspired, obviously. We got Chewie. We got the Black Storm Trooper guy from the new movies. I don't know all the names of the new people. Kylo, Kylo, Kylo Ren. Uh, forget this hooker's name, but she's cute. We've got the good old characters Luke, Darth, 
R2 and C3PO, Yoda, Boba Fett, and last but never least, Chewie. Chewie is first and last. Little mixture. A little disappointed that we didn't get a Han Solo on this glass, especially because Chewie's on there. Um, but, you know, I don't make the fucking glasses. But we could have, should have, replaced these three with three classic characters. And then done another glass later with the newer characters. But, you know, is what it is. Once again, we have number 66 of 216. Another Three Sons Brewing beer. It's a little bit lighter. It's called Multi Pass. It's a 6% straight up IPA. Not expecting great things from this, but let's see what we got. Some, some serious DGM. Ah! Yep, definitely lighter. Went from 9% to 6%. It's, it's decent. 3.7, 3.5, 3, 3.7. Pretty standard 6% IPA. Nothing, uh, nothing jaw dropping here. Pretty cool can though. Crispy Boy Aficionado. Biodegree Baker. Whoever this, this fucker is. I guess this is a picture of the brewer at Three Sons. Anyways. Back to my Gabriel Knight Beast Within LP. See you soon with more beer and more 8 bit. Oh, yeah, and we're back with more 8 bit glassware. Bringing to you the Hop League, the Justice League 8 bit. So, you got your Superman, your Batman, it's all your DC shit, the Lantern, fucking Jason Momoa. Cyborg and the Goblin and the Flash and the Wonder Woman's. Uh -huh. Bringing you some hot stout action tonight. Barrel aged peanut butter bomb. Super excited about this one. Imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with peanut butter roasted coffee, vanilla bean, cacao nibs, and chili peppers. 14.5% of love. Gotta drink it tonight. It's on the menu. Oh, God, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. It's amazing. Four or five easy on the untapter. Peanut butter is subtle, but prevalent it's boozy too see you soon all right folks and we're back with another glug glug with lug lug masterpiece video with my probably definitely in my top three favorite 8-bit glasses maybe my my favorite of all this is the final fantasy 7 144 made of the og number 66 sid Sophie, Vincent, Barrett, Red 13, Cloud, Sephiroth, Chocobo, got them all, Ares, Tifa, it's a beautiful glass folks, beautiful glass, and accompanied for this glass a very special beer, the Hydra Black Currant Pineapple Mango, specialty of my dog, Cat Blaster. This is from probably what is hailed as one of the best, easily top five in the nation, fruited sour companies. This Hydra, it's a money shot. 7%. This, folks, is basically considered one of the best sour beers in the country. And in that same sense in the world, because nobody does fruited sours like America right now. And you can take that to the fucking bank. So here we go. This one's for Cat. Oh man, that 
was a chunky boy too. I didn't clean the glass very well, but mm. holy shit. Yeah. That's, that's fucking good, man. Four seven five five easy. Pineapple is super prevalent. Mango on the back end. The black currant is super subtle. Black currant can uh, sometimes be very overpowering, but they did a good job of balancing that in this. Um, but yeah, here's my my dirty glass mafia Final Fantasy glass. I love this one. I'm gonna bury this one with me. All right. Welcome back to more glug glug with glug glug. We're moving on to uh, glass number whatever the fuck. Lost count at this point, but this is Sonic the Hop Hog. Again, number 66, 216. This is definitely one of the fave glasses here. You got Sonic, Knuckles, Tails. You got the whole cast and crew. Dr. Wiley. Or uh, whatever his name is. I only played uh, Sonic 1 and 2. And then the Dreamcast. And that was about it, really. But always a huge fan of the original. Oh, the beer. Kung Fu Karaoke IPA. Kung Fu Karaoke Kittens. By good old KCBC. Got a bunch of Kung Fu Kittens kicking ass around the karaoke machine. Superb label. Not a super strong boy, only a 5.5. Uh, Citra Mosaic, Simcoe, Amarilla, and Sapphire Hops IPA. But I am needing something kind of light, so... Let's do it. Heavy. Cheers. And it's a delicious three five three seven five because of the label. But for a five point five pale ale, awesome. I would drink the fuck out of it on the river. However, not strong enough for my my normal wear and tear weekend. But uh, awesome label. And awesome, crushable, drinkable, uh, lightweight, weak as fuck, pale ale. Good job. Welcome back, welcome back to more 8 Big Glassware with more Glug Glug with Lug Lug and drinking new beers. All right, here we are with some Dragon Ball Z. This is Dragon Ball Z Heroes, number, two, uh, number 66 out of 216. This is a dual glass release. There's Heroes and Villains. So you got... Goku and the Vegetable and Vegeta and all those motherfuckers here going Super Saiyan now I gotta admit I'm not a big DBZ guy so these glasses don't quite hold the uh, the same truth to me as the other ones I'm not as clingy to these as the others but they are part of the 8-bit set so if you don't own them, you don't have a complete set. Here we have the bubble from a little new brewery from Jay Wakefield. Never had anything from them. Uh, Miami, Florida. Interesting. In the 26 years I lived in Florida, I never went to Miami. 7%. And it's a DDH double dry hop East, East Coast IPA. This is another big ass Willy style glass, so it's gonna hold a 16 ounce, no problem. Dirty glass mafia. Pretty good, pretty standard, pretty smooth. 
nothing to write home about but good little IPA and a beautiful little 8 bit 16 bit Dragon Ball Z glass stay tuned for the villains version this set sells for about 200 bucks the two glasses that's why I'm hanging on to it I like the Dragon Ball and the hops too all right back with more glug glug to lug lug we have the uh, Dragon Ball Z villains glass that we are using now do not know a single name of a single character on here but I'm sure many of you do I do need to watch some Dragon Ball Z and get into it I just haven't had the time and so much other hobbies I need 48 hours in my days, not 24. Not sure if I shared this beer with y'all, but this is one of the shelfie go-tos that I get here in Texas by good old Voodoo Ranger. Uh, they are in Fort Collins and Asheville, North Carolina, New Belgium. They're the ones that do the Voodoo series. This is my favorite out of the Voodoo series as far as taste. It's about six and a half percent, I believe, uh, and it's just got a really nice fruity, citrusy taste to it. It's perfect for like a hot day or float in the river. Not too strong of a beer, but I'd buy like a six pack of this probably once a week so that I don't drink all my expensive shit. Now, this is only a 12 ounce can, so it's not even going to put a dent in this glass, but that's all right. And I can already tell you this is a good four beer. It being my favorite voodoo series but mainly I just wanted to show off the awesomeness of the glass here another 8-bit spectacular pixelated prize one day I very well may sell off this entire set because it goes currently for about three grand uh, and that is 20 something odd glasses but yeah, they all sell for about 120 plus. Uh, that Avengers glass though can go for 300 easy. But yeah, someday if I you know need three thousand dollars, I uh, do a quick little sell. But I love having them, and I love collecting them, and I love hoarding shit, as we all know. So until that time, I'm gonna drink out of them and hope I don't break them. Welcome back, all. To more glug lug with lug lug bringing you a two for this time because i'm going to share this beer with the uh, fiance you know i like to share sharing is caring uh, of course i'll have to pour this her uh, uh her share into a different glass because she's not allowed to touch any of these uh, and neither are you if you come over just keep that in mind it's not a particular woman thing it's that nobody fucking touches my eight big glassware Anyways, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Heroes and Villains set here. Number 66 and 66 accordingly. We, of course, got uh, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael all here. We got April and Splinter, Casey Jones, and some pizza and manholes at the bottom. Love it, love it. Don't know all the villains, but we got Shredder and the, the Footman and Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, Flyman, whoever the fuck, Rat King, I think, is there. And uh, we got Krang and uh, his, uh, his living fucking Frankenstein guy that he resides in. Krang is, of course, the little awesome brain in the stomach there. And the beer we're going to represent is Other Half Super Brewery, Green City. Figured Green City would go, with, go good with the turtles here. Indian Pale Ale, 7%. Not much to it. Just Green City. I believe Other Half is in New York. Yes. Kanana de Dagagagua. Might need to send Cat over there. Because uh, this brewery is the shiznit. I'm just kidding. She can she can drink out of my glass. 
she breaks it though, she owes me 200 bills. The set goes for 200 for both glasses, so. Cheers, motherfuckers. I get the, I want the bad guys. I want the bad guys. Ooh, that's really good. You have to give up some. It's definitely an a easy four on untapped. And we'll see you soon with the continuing continuation of 8-Bit Glassware and Brewskis with Glug Glug with Lug Lug. Welcome back, everyone, to yet another 8-Bit Glassware glass. Glug Glug in it with Lug Lug in it. We bring it to you some Street Sharks, a show that I never really watched, but it was part of the 8-Bit collection, so of course I got it. Club member 66. I'm going to go and watch these because it looks pretty kick-ass. It's a little bit uh, after my time for cartoons, but it looks like a nice uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of knockoff where you got these uh, shark brothers or shark friends that kind of go around saving the day and kicking the baddies' asses. But yeah, Street Sharks. It's going to go well with some Revision Disco Ninja. Some Afro Samurai going on here. 7% Indian Pale Ale. Let's fucking do it. This is a 16 ounce glass, so we should be money on the fillage. DGM. Dirty Glass Mafia. Meh. It's okay. Three five three seven. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow your mind or anything. Pretty average uh, northeast, or they call them nippas. Any IPAs northeast, northeastern IPAs. Uh, this is from Revision Brewing in Nevada. They actually do a, they do a lot of good beers. Some are hit or miss. This one's more of a miss for me, but you know. You don't know until you try. See you soon. Alrighty, folks, back for yet another 8 bit glassware glug glug with lug lug challenge. That's what this is turning into. I drank these all in one night. Just kidding. It took me two nights. Next up, Power Rangers. Never seen a single one of these shows, but hey, part of the fucking collection. You got your Power Ranger, you got your Green Ranger, you got your. Your Black Ranger. We're paying tribute to Black Ranger today. You got your Asian Ranger. I'm assuming because he's yellow. Uh, you got your Red Ranger. That's the that's the Indian with the feathers. You got your Blue Blue Ranger. Uh, that's your Smurf lover. You got your Pink Ranger. That's your lesbian. And then you got the leader. Obviously, he's the the silver silver and gold motherfucker. Definitely a white boy. Um, so yeah. Power Ranger glass. I'm not sure if you can really see that. It's kind of hard, but maybe when I pour this stout into here. This is a, from the Black and Black is Beautiful series. Talked about them before. 10% stout. This is from Alamo Brewing, who honestly does not make good beer. And I've, they've never made a stout, so let's see how this is. They make a lot of that Pilsner piss. I can already tell this is going to be mediocre just by the thickness of it and not bubbling like a Coca-Cola. <sighs> Confirmed. Pretty me mediocre for a stout. That didn't really help. You get the picture. Yeah, pretty... I've had about 15 of these now from different breweries, and uh, this one is, it's not bad. I mean, it's probably the best beer I've ever had from Alamo. It is 10%, so I'll give them points for that. All right, on to the next beer. I'm going to chug this one. Righty, righty, righty-o, and I'm back with some more glug, glug, with glug, glug. All right, folks, welcome back to more glug, 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 glug. This is your host, Lug Lug, a.k.a. The Game Hoarder, a.k.a. Ron Stock. Bring it to you, Super 8-Bit Fam. 
This is our club member glass that uh, 8-Bit decided to do. It's obviously Super Mario based. Super Mario on the Super NES. We had to really label it. It's more like Super 16-Bit. It is a whiskey glass, which is pretty cool. I don't drink whiskey, but beer uh, drinks just as well out of this. And we got a special little Mario inspired glass, or excuse me, beer. A little Goomba back there with some Koopa Troopas and shit, some Mario flags and crates and stuff. This is uh, from Main and Mill Brewing Co. I don't think I've had anything from them. From Boston, Massachusetts. 6%. A little IPA ski. Rocco gets his chance. Hazy IPA. Beer with. Haller Tau Blanc, Simcoe, Nelson Suavon hops. Well, I've heard of two or three of those. By the way, Surgeon General says pregnant bitches shouldn't be drinking this. Artist Spotlight Series. Yeah, I'll say. Be keeping that label. Mm, let's get it. Obviously, this isn't all going to fit in a whiskey glass. Let's try it out. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. About a, about a 3 7 or point ten points added for a cool label. All right, folks, that's it. There's only a few more beers to go or a few more glasses to go. And we got, uh, yep, three more. And then I can finally upload this goddamn video. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another 8 bit glassware selection in this current chapter of the Lug Lug with Glug Lug episode. Proud to present to you Banjo Kazooie Glass. Now, I never did beat Banjo Kazooie, but I'm quite familiar with the game. I know it was a pretty big hit on N64. But you got Banjo Kazooie there. Played a little bit of it. Cool little platformer. Looked a lot like Conker's Bad Fur Day and the old Mario 64 games. Hopefully they do a nice little remaster for Switch. That'll get me into it. Bringing you some Wizards and Gargoyles from Stone Brewing. The collaboration with Modern Times. It's a Hazy Coffee IPA. Some cool little 8 bit graphics there. Coffee IPA. That is not something you see every day. Indian Pale Ale brewed with coffee at 7%. First time I've used this glass, I think. I'm not a coffee fan. I don't drink coffee. I've had maybe five cups of coffee in my entire existence. Mm -hmm. You can definitely tell it's brewed with coffee. It's a interesting combination. I prefer my coffee to be with my stouts. Um, yeah, this isn't for me. It's not something I would buy again. But it basically tastes like half IPA, half coffee. Like somebody took an IPA beer, which is pretty decent in itself, and then threw some fucking cappuccino in that shit. Probably going to land about a 3-5 for me just because I'm not a fan of this mixture. But I do give credit where credit to do, and it's an interesting mix. And I will drink it because it's alcohol. Alrighty, folks. We're coming to an end here at the Glug Lug 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 Challenge is what it seems like at this point. Been going at this a few nights now. Very proud to present to you one of my favorite glasses, one that I will never, ever get rid of. It is the Metal Slug. This glass is absolutely gorgeous. It's a mixture of Metal Slug 1, 2, and 3, I believe, but... 
It's got all the badassness you could want on a, on a glass. So I'm going to break out a very special beer from Weathered Souls called Hops Party. 8.4% double IPA with Mandarin, Bavrivian, Eldorado Mosaic, and Nelson Salvin hops. Weathered Souls, of course, is the brewery that brought you Black is Beautiful. They are local to San Antonio, Texas. So I get the pleasure of going inside and hanging out with all the badass people that run that motherfucker. And let me tell you, they're all cool as shit. All right. Excited about this. I already know this is going to be a 4 plus, without a fucking doubt. They don't make IPAs that are less than 4 plus. You can already tell from the citrusy haze of that pour. But that is going to be delicious. Look at the obscurity. That's not even. That's not even DGM. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't clean my. I'm the only one that uses my glasses, so I don't clean them. I like give them a quick rinse, and I throw them in. But <laughs> if you're wondering why I kept saying DGM this whole time, Dirty Glass Mafia. That's what we say when you get bubbles that accumulate on the side of the glass. That's basically dirt and residue. So there's a proper way to clean a glass, and I ha I don't even normally do it. Mm. Yep, that's golden. Four too easy. Four too easy. And the beautiful metal slug glass. There's only one more glass after this that I just got. And then there's another glass. He does one every month, so... The collection is going to get quite substantial after time. In fact, I'm selling off a big portion of my glassware and I'm making a fucking killing doing it. So, not a bad investment on my behalf. Um, and until next time, folks. Till next beer, the last beer, the final beer of this video. Stay glug lugging with the lug lugging. All right, folks, this is it. The last beer glass of this episode. The final glass in the series that's been produced up to this date. The Donkey Kong Country. Straight up. <laughs> Graphics ripped from the, the game itself. But it forms a very nice glass. The whole see-through aspect is big. No real hops adapted to this one. That I can see. Just looks like it's like straight up Donkey Kong Country. And uh, this crazy cool beer from Weed Wolf Introspecta. Experimental Double Indian Pale Ale. Brewed with oats, triticale, pato, and Triumph Whirlpool dry hopped with Citrus Simcoe, Triumph Ernest, and Sabro hops. That's some shit. No idea what the ABV is on this. Not seeing that yet. Have to look that one up. But a super cool can. Let's do it. Last but not least, Donkey Kong Country. Definitely some cool art. Be keeping that can. All right, folks. Well, it's been a magical journey. Uh, I want to thank you all for sticking with me throughout this entire crazy video of me showing off my 8-bit glassware collection. It is worthy of showing off. This beer is beautiful. Easily a 4 out of 5 on untapped. And I'd like to thank you all again for watching.
see you soon with more glug glug with lug lug. Maybe we'll do a new series of glasses next time. Uh, hopefully it's not as big as this one. Because I am fucking drunk. Bye bye!